and we're here with the Framio. Yes, Framio. Hi. I'm Emily. Hi. So uh, we see a lot of uh, photo frames here, yep. and uh, you're actually a Danish company, right? Yes, we are located in Aarhus, the second biggest city of Denmark, but yeah, still very small. So what's the idea with the Framio? Yeah, so if we are Framio and we make software for Wi-Fi photo frames where you can send photos directly from your smartphone app to the frame in to your mother or father or cousin or friends that has a frame in their houses. So it's like a platform and you work with different uh, factories that, that make the frames. Yeah, so we sell our software to our Chinese manufacturing partners and they sell to brands all around the world. Our biggest market is US and Europe. Yeah, so right. I can show you how yeah. it works. So what you do is that, so we make the uh, software for the Wi-Fi photo frames and that we sell to our Chinese manufacturing partners. We have more than 60 different uh, factories that have bought uh, the Framio license and they are selling to the brands all around the Actually, world. Actually, I was walking around in a factory uh, a few months ago okay. and then I saw the Framio logo and the guy there told me it was Danish. That's how I, I learned about So Good. a yeah. whole bunch of factories make photo frames and how do they partner with you? So what they do is that they are uh, putting their, uh, they are making their frames and putting in our uh, software like uh, Microsoft on a Lenovo computer. It's a Framio on the photo frames. Is uh, it based on the Linux? No. Or is it based uh, on the Android? Yeah, Android. Android based, yeah, yeah. but it's a custom designed Android to make just this functionality? Exactly. So you cannot do anything other with a frame than, than receiving uh, photos. So we also make the, the software for the Framio app, which is available on uh, Google Play and App Store. We have more than 6 million downloads now. We are very focused on making the software user-friendly. We have a 4.9 star rating in App Store US. So uh, it's extremely important for us that the, that the software is user-friendly. What you do is simply that you choose uh, photos from your gallery, or you can try to take a new photo. We can do it here. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. All right. And then you select who you want to send. So you can send to one or multiple frame, uh, frames at the same time. You can add a little caption to make it more personal. I say fantastic to be back here at uh, HKTTC with Jabax. And then you send it to the frame. The frame can be put in both uh, portrait and landscape, as you see here. Yeah. So that's why we, I can choose uh, the most important part of the photo and that must of course be you. So now I'm sending it to the frame and it will be uh, sent automatically and received within a few seconds even when you're miles apart. You can also see it at the big screen. Nice. So uh, that, that means that uh, people are staying more connected, the family, yeah. the grandparents, the parents, exactly. when the baby's around, they keep getting fresh photos. Yeah. So All day. this is a perfect gift for Christmas, Mother's Day, uh, birthdays around the year. So you give it to your mother and get all your family connected to the frame, to the one fra uh, frame that your mother has, and then uh, then you can send all the photos and videos that you want. And if you look here, uh, all kind of shapes, all kinds of designs, all kinds of display quality. It could be a just BOE panel, a exactly, UO, yeah. Samsung, LG, yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's up to the brand and the factory, whatever they prefer of the specs and uh, design. Uh, so the software inside is the same as Framio. And, uh, and depending on the, on the screen, it's the, uh, it could be higher or lower quality, the viewing exactly. angles, yeah, exactly. uh, the power consumption, it's yeah. all the different yeah. potentially made by your, yeah. your partners. Uh, different uh, frames, different factories, uh, different brands. Um, it's also um, what the market uh, in US, maybe you want some other fra uh, frames that you, you want in Europe. Uh, in, uh, this is a good selling uh, in Europe with the wooden style. Um, yeah. It's a nice big one. Yeah, that's maybe 20, 21 inch. 21 inch. Yeah, and we also have, actually this is a, a little family of 21 inch, uh, 15 inch, 10 inch, and, and the small 7 inch.
Uh, are you the market leader for photo yeah, frame platform? Yeah, we are the market leader. You're we the have one. some uh, competitors in the market, but we are we are the only one that making the the software for the frames. We have a competitor in the US like Aura. They are also doing a great work, but they are selling both the hardware and the software. And we are only a software company, which allows uh, other brands to join the market of Wi-Fi photo frames. Yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, promise, kind of. Uh, let's say let's go over here. Um, I see you have 200 plus uh, brand partners. Yeah. So uh, it's a, it's it's nice for them to know that you're not going to go in there and compete with them. Yeah, right? we will not compete. We in framing we are only uh, selling the software. So uh, we have O and N. That is uh, Walmart's own brand. We have uh, Denmark selling to to Denmark Jackson. Uh, Australia, media on selling in Germany, and so on. All right, and uh, each of them can uh, optimize the cost, get the really good price for the yeah. consumer. Yeah. Consumer is happy, the brand is happy. We're and happy. Uh, how long time have you been doing this business? We Are you one of the uh, co-founders? Yeah, we launched uh, the first frame in 2017. Yeah, so we have seen the uh, huge demand since the day we launched the day the brand launched the first frames. And I, I saw one of your uh, logos show up in the factory. It was just after the opening after COVID. So I guess the COVID period was very busy for you. It's been a growth in there. Yeah, actually we saw that, uh, of course it was uh, not good for all business that there was COVID with the all, we have not no chance to be on the shows and show it to new brands. But we actually saw that people really uh, loves to stay connected even when they couldn't visit. Uh, so yeah, we saw that uh, the, the product was also good in times of so COVID. So you grow? Yeah, we have, yeah we have been growing since uh, the very beginning. Uh, is there any consideration in terms of uh, not wasting energy? I think it would be great with the uh, photo frames. I kind of have a sensor that when there's nobody in the room, it can just stay off. Yeah, we and have a somebody's room automatically. Yeah, you know. It yeah, we have a. It's up to the brands. We have uh, we support that the the frame goes to sleep, <laughs> and we also have a, this is in a, some some of our features. You can uh, put it into to uh, you can see the slideshow, and uh, it's kind of like a sleep mode. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sleep mode. And, uh, it would be nice. It would be automatic, and somehow uh, maybe I use microphone or yeah, you some can see kind the of way. Sleep mode here. Ah, so you can choose when the frame go to sleep and when it will wake up in the morning. Here it's just full. Nice. <laughs> nice. But I think it would be nice to have a presence detector, right? Because there's no point in having photo frames be on if nobody's in the house. Yeah. And it should that, just be automatic. Yeah, but that is up to the to yeah. the brand. They decide what. Uh, if, if they want a sleep mode function or it's actually a motion sensor, so when you are going in front of this, the, the frame, it can turn off, turn on again. But that requires that they spend uh, the time, uh, the, the, the money on the motion sensor on the frame, but we support it with our software. Nice. Uh, that's cool. Um, I, I guess maybe there is some feature requests because it's kind of potentially could do a lot more than just being a photo frame, right? Yeah. So are you expanding into adding more functionality? Of course, we work, uh, we have a, a very talented team in Denmark sitting and working full time on making our software even better. But it's extremely important for us that we keep it simple. The core function that people are satisfied with is to, to send and receive photos, yeah. So uh, how about, uh, can I ask about the platform? Because I did so many videos with Rockchip, All Winner, all these kind of companies. Yeah. And I guess you have some preferred integrations that just kind of like recommended platforms that go to the factories or they can do whatever and it just works on every CPU. Uh, no, we have a manufacturer guide with some uh, strict requirements that we want them to do uh, because uh, the software makes it possible to share videos, 15 inch, uh, 15 second videos. So of course we need them to put in a, a speaker. So there is some requirements that we want them to follow. Uh, but our team in Denmark are helping new factories getting to make their first sample with Framio, and we of course also help them with the requirements that we have. So we are sure that the frames running out there are good. Uh, of course, you were saying you want to keep it simple and everything. 
But what I kind of immediately think is that a cool second functionality will be some frame use with a little camera and do video conferencing. Because when the grandparents see the photos, it's great. Yeah. But you also want to have a, a like a one-click solution. Yeah. Or they just have video chat. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, it makes sense because some of our competitors are doing uh, frames with video option uh, to, uh, yeah, to talk okay. with the family. Uh, but what we see is actually we have 6 million downloads across Google Play and App Store. And that's actually not the, what we are hearing from the customers, from the end users that they won't want. They want to have an option to, to share memories uh, for photos and videos, uh, they use the phone for the for the video chats. Um, so, of course, it is an option, but we want a, a, a simple product that everybody can use because of the easy user experience, the simplicity, um, and that's why we we really are choosing the ideas that we get from the end users and with the, our focus on the simplicity. Can you explain just a little bit about uh, the team that you talk about, software team in Aarhus and Denmark? Yeah, yeah. Uh, who, who, who are these guys? What's their background? And uh, are they like uh, yeah, they are software. great at optimizing software, so it's just like ultra stable? Yeah, they are uh, software developers and they are extremely good at making the software even better to keep, so we can keep our 4.9 rating. So when we have, uh, we have now, uh, six million downloads and five million photos is being shared through Framio. That means, of course, a lot of data. It's extremely important for us that the software is safe. That's why they also made uh, the Intertech Cyber Assured Certificate. Is that's a U.S. certificate that um, tells that okay, the software is safe to use. The infrastructure is. is is uh, tested and it's safe, so that's what they would they spend their time on. Of course, also new features. We have recently added um, clock and weather, so that you are able to see a forecast of the weather today and the next uh, the weather today and the next four days and the clock. Of course, they also this is a beta frame, which means that every time we uh, release new new features, we are first. Firstly, we are testing it on the, the devices, on an, um, a small am amount of devices. This is a new feature that we are presenting. Uh, okay, so. Maybe it's not active, is it? Uh, it, it should the Zoom. Yeah, oh, Zoom. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, so you're able to zoom in on the photo. It's, I think it's my nails. Yeah, yeah okay. And um, we have also made it easier for them to to uh, when you should get, when you should connect to the frame you you can just scan the QR code before it was uh, only the number yeah so uh, that's that's some of the stuff that they are working on so we are sure that the frames out there are, are really tested and good and maybe maybe you, uh, your your software is maybe even more stable than whatever Google's doing so you need to like take stuff away that's not necessary and just make it uh, small Android image, yeah. right? That's yeah. just taking as little RAM as possible, little memory as possible. And uh, you talk about compressing all these images in a, without losing quality to save on bandwidth. Yeah, of course, we, if you send uh, the, the, the size of the photo is, uh, depends on the frame that receives it. So if I take a high quality photo, uh, the app will make sure that it fits the frame that is sent to the resolution of the frame. So that happens automatically when you, s when you send it. It's, it's peer to peer. There's no cloud involved. It just goes directly from the user's phone to the frame. Yeah, the photos are stored. So the photos are only at the, fr at the phone of the sender and at the frame. And between is encryption. Yeah, we don't see the photos. Nice. Ah, cool. And uh, and uh, even if the photo is not so expensive, doesn't have too many gigabytes, you can still have thousands and thousands of in memory, or uh, you limit how many you leave on the device. It's up to the frame because this can be a. You can, as a brand, you can buy it with 16 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte. Most common and most normal is uh, 16 and 32 gigabyte. So it's up to what the frame you're buying, cool. like your like your phone.
All right. And here at the Hong Kong Fair, you have discussions with potentially other partner factories or distributors, and everybody wants to discuss about yeah, what's we, next. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, talk with new factories, but we have now more than 60 different factories. So now our focus is in the putting it in the market. So we are reaching out to new brands. We have met brands from India, Brazil, UK, Australia, uh, France, Spain, Italy, many countries. Yeah, so we are trying to reach new brands, new consumer electronic brands. Cool, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.